next song. He's actually in the room right now, so I think that's super funny. This is the cookout on the rooftop? Yeah. <laughs> they want to shoot videos of me. Um, my name's Isa. I'm a singer-producer, and I'm from Singapore. For this EP that I'm going to be putting out, um, I feel like the main inspiration would be just about growing up. <laughs> yeah. That's why I wanted to title it IRL, with the EP. She's one of the RAs here. Yeah, my social life, oh, my RA. It's kind of like me stepping into like adulthood and it's like, oh, this is actually what life is about. And um, I mean, yeah, I, I've definitely been like shook and, uh, and woke. That's what, you know, that's what millennials love to say nowadays. <laughs> I will be going back home to work on this EP. I am playing some shows here while I'm still a senior in uh, Columbia. Um, and I'm really excited about that. Like, I'll be playing a show in Chicago, uh, a show in New York. I feel really um, nervous, but also excited um, for like the next step in life. I didn't expect myself to like suddenly be making all these music and like be putting out an album I, I didn't like expect that two years ago so um it's I think it's good to dream big and just keep going forward because that's not the kind of vibe I'm looking for I want everyone up on their feet and like come right in front you know that's so like come on just go right in front <laughs>
but I've been going to school here in Chicago for the past two and a half years, and I'm actually going to be leaving in like two weeks. Are you ready? Are you? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's so crazy that four months just passed by, just like that. Um, we're back in the same spot. Um, this is uh, surreal. I mean, it's just, I mean, it, just playing for friends. I think that that just gave me so much joy, just seeing the people that I, you know, went to school with, that I, you know, became really close with um just seeing them show up to like my shows this semester and it's also my last semester um it's just it was just very touching um i gave him two 50 cent coins from singapore taped on the letter and he and i was like this will be uh this will prepare you when you visit me someday <laughs> this is the last week that i'll be here in chicago um I hope to be back. Uh, I always tell myself 2020, just because it sounds it sounds good, you know, 2020. Um, hopefully that'll be my first North American tour, maybe. Um, we'll just see how the internet reacts to like the entire thing. <laughs> Wait, yeah. I need to, mm. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but. <laughs> this is like, we very... only have one life to live. Might as well just do what you, what you've always wanted to do ever since maybe you were, you were you were five years old or ever since maybe like two years ago um like just do it if you don't do anything nothing's gonna happen um and also have fun with it because if you stress yourself out that's like you're not gonna get like the beauty out of it of this menu it's basically all me like the first six photos <laughs> look it up <laughs> okay. i'm gonna go back to life all right, um, well, I'll be coming out with an EP uh, in 2018. I'm hoping to release my first single in April and then um, the actual EP in July. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys listen to it on Spotify, iTunes. That's how we like consume uh, music nowadays, right? Like it's not, on, it's not on albums anymore. I would like to put it on an album, maybe. maybe. If you leave me, say 